Well, we saw what it was like to gouge some heavy-duty material. Let's see what it's like to gouge some sheet metal spot welds. Now, what I've done is I've removed the 45 gouging consumables, and I've put on the cutting consumables from the Power Max 30. And now I've got to do a little bit of resetting on the machine. Now, we'd had it set for 35 amps. Now I'm going to go down to 20 amps, but I also want to lower my air pressure as low as I can get it to go and still have it in the green. So we'll do the air pressure first. Turn that down there. Go up to the adjustment knob. Oh, that's a little too low. Okay, perfect. Now we go to 20. And this is our victim, a piece of sheet metal with some spot welds that came from our early 50s Chevy that's out kind of like decaying in the field. So this is just, we're just going to see just how well our machine settings are going to take care of these spot welds and just to try out the settings, we'll try it out on one spot weld and see if those settings are correct. So there we go. You can see we've cut through the first layer here, but the layer underneath, the second layer, it's untouched. I guess these settings are right. Now I just got to do the rest of them. And now all we got to do is put something like a chisel or a seam buster on there. There we go. I gouged out the rest of the spot welds and then I used the chisel to kind of just bust through the seams here, separating the two pieces of metal. And our bottom piece of metal, there's a few little, few little gouges on it here and there, but it's pretty much untouched. Now, if I had tried to use a grinder or a spot weld drill to drill these out, it would have taken me probably 15, 20 minutes.